Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back, Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I've got an interesting video for you today. We're looking at the thermostat here in the Chinook, and what I wanna show in this video today is changing out the thermostat. We're going to install a Honeywell. This is the Pro 1000 thermostat. This is a heat only thermostat. It's a very, very simple process to change this out. This thing has an on off switch and it has an up and a down and that's, that's literally all there is to it. Uh, this thermostat operates on two AAA alkaline batteries. So here is the owner's manual and everything like that. There's a couple screws and a couple little deals here. I don't think I'll even need those. You have the thermostat itself, and then of course the two alkaline AAA batteries. Now, some people say make sure you turn the power off and things like that. That's up to you guys. We're not working on three phase here. We're working on low voltage, so I don't think it's that big of a deal personally. So if you want to turn the breaker off, go for it. The tools that we're gonna need for this job is extremely simple. I have two wires here. I see two flathead screws. So I have a small flathead screwdriver. And I also see this screw and this screw that holds the old thermostat to the wall. Those are number two square. So I have a small driver here with a number two square bit. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna disconnect. The power here on the bottom side we have a white wire right there then we also have a red wire up top so we're going to just disconnect those two wires very simple these are low voltage wires from here, we're going to use our driver. We're going to remove those screws. Just like that. And I'll probably reuse these screws, to be honest with you. So we'll pull the old thermostat straight off. And that's the old thermostat. Now from here, we're going to take the new thermostat, set these screws aside for a second, and we'll pop this thing apart right here on the bottom pops apart into two pieces okay so it's very very simple at this time I'm gonna go ahead and put my AAA batteries in here in this top portion so bear with me use that screwdriver to open up the package here now these batteries uh, last quite a long time and when you start getting a low battery indicator it, that generally happens about two months before the batteries actually need replaced fully. So it's not something, in my opinion, that you need to worry about too much. So these, it's definitely good to keep a spare set of batteries on hand. But again, this thing will give you plenty of fair warning. So we're going to take the wires and we're going to run them right through the back right here. Just like so just like that. Now we're gonna take those those screws that we had just a second ago, we're gonna install this, probably try to hide those old screw holes and things. So I'll probably put it something like this. Okay, we got that one started and I'll, I'll increase the clutch here in just a second. Just wanna try to hide this thing as good as I can. that one in there. Let's get a little more, a little deeper. There, we got it. So now we have that part completely installed. We have 
three different terminals here. We have a R, a C, and a W. The R is the power. The C is in case we're not using the batteries and we want to power this thing with 24 volt AC. We're not going to use that. We're just going to use the R and we're going to use the W. Okay, so the W goes in right here, just like so. Tighten that in, and then the R goes right here. Just like so. Very, very simple. Make sure that you put these wires up kind of out of the way, in a, in a way that they won't short each other out. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of tuck them up in there, just like that, nice and clean. And from there, we will now install this portion, just like so. And that's all there is to the installation of this thermostat. Now, it's pretty hot here in the Chinook right now, so if I want to turn the heat on, I'll just turn the switch down to heat, and then let's bump this temperature up past 86 and we'll get the heat turned on. So I put it to 90. I'll just wait a little bit. From here, I'm just waiting. It says heat on. I can hear the fan underneath me starting. I'm putting my hand down by the vent. I feel air coming out. And here in a minute, I'll hear this. There it goes. It's igniting right now. I can hear it. Here pretty soon I'll be feeling heat. Down by my feet and back here by my hand. There's a vent back here. Yep, I feel heat coming out now. Down there. So it's very cool. Again, as you could see, it was a very, very simple install. The old thermostat was still working. But the reason I changed it out is I wanted something digital that's going to be much more efficient because this thing doesn't know the difference between 70 degrees or 75 degrees. It's an analog type uh, thermometer. This one being digital, it's going to be a lot more accurate. So I hope that you appreciate this video. I'm going to turn this temperature back down because I'm feeling the heat here. Turn it down to about 60, I don't know, 67 or something like that. or I could just turn it off and call it off. But I like the readout because it tells me how hot it is in a digital form in this Chinook. So with all that being said, folks, I want to say thank you for stopping by today and joining me on this video, how to install a thermostat in the Chinook. Very simple. This is the Honeywell Home Pro 1000 thermostat. Not very expensive. I only paid... 25 bucks or something for that on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box down below. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video, share this video, and until next time, have a beautiful day. We'll see you then. Bye for now.